After a tough winter like this, we get a lot of questions about salt affected soils. In the winter, we use products like sodium chloride or table salt to lower the freezing point of the ice and snow and cause it to melt. But all that salt then goes into our soils and it can make it very difficult for the plants to access water. In some cases, there's so much salt can be present, it can actually suck the water out of the plant and kill it. There's been a lot of alternatives that have been released lately that contain things like calcium, magnesium, and even beet juice. But all these products are still salts and they can all still have negative consequences on our plants in the spring. So what should we do about it to try to get our plants to regrow and recover? So these ice melt products can lead to two problems in our soil. The first is salinity. Salinity is just how much salt is in the soil. And again, when we get a lot of salt in the soil, it makes it very hard for the plants to access water. This happens every time we have dog spots or even in the summer if we over fertilize our lawn and we have some fertilizer burn. It's a salt problem. The second issue is sodicity. Sodicity is when you get a high level of sodium in our soil, particularly our fine textured soils, and it causes them to lose pore space that allows air and water to go and make our roots be healthy. So it's really only an issue in our fine textured soils. If you're one of those fortunate viewers in the sand hills or have lawns with sandy soil, you don't really ever have to worry about sodicity. So how do we fix these issues? If we have a saline soil, the only thing we can do is try to leach the salt below the plant roots. And in the spring, normal spring rain and snow melt generally does a good job of this. But if we're still having some problems, do a soil test. If a soil test says you still have salinity issues, then a little bit of extra irrigation can help to push that salt below. Uh, just a thing to note though, uh, you never want to use softened water because water softened with salt can intensify the problem. If you have sodic soils, then we need to apply gypsum because the gypsum actually displaces the sodium and helps to again, again push it below our roots. The gypsum is only going to help if you have sodic soils. If you have compaction from say an automobile or from pet traffic, putting gypsum down is not going to help unless you have a sodic situation. If you have a saline situation, adding gypsum actually makes it worse because gypsum is in itself a salt. Finally, once you fix these issues, then it's a time we can resod and we can reseed and with a little bit of time and some patience, we can have a good looking lawn and landscape again.